Serpent Mound is awesome, amazing, a number of reasons. For one, for one, it's the largest effigy in the world, the largest ancient effigy in the world. For another, it's built on the site of a meteor crater, a very large meteor crater. For another, it's totally mysterious. No one knows who made it or why. Nobody knows how old it is. It's coiled tail. This tail winds up into a coil. There's the head and the circle inside its mouth. It looks over a cliff. There's its mouth overlooking a cliff. Points toward the sun in the summer solstice. Here's an aerial view showing the coils, the head, the head swallowing an egg or something, and the tail. It's on a cliff. The head points toward the solstice. Over the edge of the cliff are strange rocks that come from a impact from a meteor. They're very deformed rocks. And this is on the cliff overlooking a crater. There's a huge crater that's miles long. Here's one of the very first drawings of it. Uh, toward the front, there's two little things by the head. And then there's something in front of the head. It looks right down over a cliff. It may symbolize the meteor coming out of the sky. Ancient people may have known about meteors, although Europeans didn't accept the idea that rocks fell from the sky because their authorities told them it didn't, that this didn't happen. The Native Americans probably knew this because many of their mounds have been found with meteors in them. So they may have recognized this as a meteor crater and drawn the snake to show it. Some more drawings. This is in the museum by the Serpent Mound. Shows a profile of it. How it was made. So, the United States first historic park. So it has many firsts. The monument to the actual crater also exists and this is hard to photograph because you have to be eight feet tall and hold the camera above it but this is to the crater and the monuments found in a local boy scout camp overlooks an area of hilly terrain This is a low area around the farm that may be the bottom part of the crater. The crater is huge, maybe three to in diameter. There's a low area that may be the bottom of the crater surrounded by hills. Here is a geological map of Ohio. It shows the bedrock all through the state very large map. It also shows a very distinctive feature and that's the Serpent Mound. It's very unusual geologically and meteor craters 
are rare anywhere, especially very large ones. It also shows it in detail. Here's the air the serpent mound showing the snake's head overlooking a cliff which overlooks the crater. It's almost impossible to tell there's a crater there and only with advanced geological knowledge would anybody know it. Here's a map of Ohio showing the serpent mound structure and here's a detailed map of it. As is apparent, this is large. There are faults all through it and probably overall it's in some area, in some parts it's probably around six miles in diameter or even more. The serpent mound sits in another map, the Serpent Mound is located here, the crater is around here, there's distinct vegetation zones around it, and it's located in the southwest corner of, on the geological map, it's located around this area, it points toward the sun at the solstice, which is this direction, but also points towards the center of the crater. It's said that it looks, that the area looks like just a huge hunk of the earth was pushed in. It's definitely an unusual feature in Ohio. Not only is it an unusual feature in Ohio, it's also one of the most amazing structures in the world. It's almost as if somebody had drawn a giant arrow to show where the crater is, as if the spiral and tail shows the object coming out of space and the round center shows the crater or the earth. Maybe the seven curves depict the seven worlds known to the ancients. Maybe it's a symbol that they knew this came from the sky. The ancients may have known a vast amount about geology.